Lars, come on. Is this a drill? It wasn't a Bernie wood. All our stuff's up there. Over there, come on. Um, yeah, um. This had better be a joke. I didn't do nothing. Just go on. Go on. Right! Who set off the fire alarm? Me. Just thought I should let you know that the, uh, the attic's on fire. It's Harry. There's a den in the attic. It's happening again. Everybody? Yeah. Where's Gus? Where's Tracy? He was there. With me! Run over! Run over! Run over! You did just let him burn. Harry! <laughs> I thought you were up there. I was. But all our stuff's up there. Get back! Ow! What happened? He pushed me. You all right? Yeah. I didn't touch her. Silly girl slipped in the mud. Well, it's been raining all night. What do you expect? No matter how bad the fire is, there's always something left behind. See this sawdust? Mr. Hamster's bedding. Looks like someone's thrown a match in it. What? You think it might be arson? Could have been an accident. Maybe they thought they'd put it out. But with a fuel source like this, it could smoulder away. Wouldn't even notice it at first. Well, then eventually, of course, burst into flames. A decent smoke alarm would have alerted you a lot sooner. That's a new system. We replaced all the alarms a few months back. Oh, well, that's good. But even a new system won't work without batteries. What? I told you. You should never have let the young people come up here. Uh, wait a minute. Who's to say this is our kids' fault? Who else is it going to be? You were lot are completely out of control. Why do you think I've been doing overnights all week? Ah, uh, look here. What's that? Burned out joysticks. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Harry, we're not angry, OK? Babes, we just want to know where you got them from. Saf used to burn them. Did you get them from my room when she left? They smell like sapphire. OK, he's admitted it. Hold on a minute, he didn't say that. He's... Did you burn these? Yes, but then I put them out. Harry doesn't tell lies. Plus, he wasn't at Burniewood, was he? So? Well, two fires and two care homes in less than a week. Don't you think there's a connection? There is. They're both full of care kids. My mum bought me a new dress every birthday. And I kept them all. It's like I've lost another part of her. Come in. Are you okay? I want to help. <clears throat> Trust me, you can't mend them. They're absolutely wrecked. Well, I suppose you can't make them any worse. That's sad. Hey guys, how are you doing? All right. Frankie, sure shot. Come on, ten minutes till Dennis kicks us out. This won't take long. Look, I'm sorry to ask, but I really need to borrow some cash. No. 
Are you right? Didn't take long. Please. My mum's supposed to be getting out of hospital and I've run out of credit on my mobile. Then you used the cash that you nicked from Johnny. That wasn't me. Frank, you sure shot. You believe me, don't you, Frank? Yeah, New Zealand and the colleges. Cups. Thanks, Frank. I owe you a big one. What are you doing? You're meant to be a scammer, not a mark. I know. Seriously, she's a user, mate. Bad news. She know it. We're notebooks. I'm sorry. This is all I could save. Do you want to keep them? No. They're not the same. They're the more. Okay. What's all this? I'm investigating the fires. You think they're both started by the same person? Seems logical. So what have you found out about the Burnywood fire so far? What? The fire at Burnywood? The big fire. Don't remember much about it. I do. It was well cool. First I knew about it, I got woken up by the fire alarm. It must have been like four in the morning. Smoke everywhere. The whole place went up. The fire would have to get us out with ladders. Don't ask me. Couldn't tell you how it started. In the lounge. Yeah, that's what the fireman said. Basically, we don't know how the Burnywood fire started, and it could have been any one of them. Or more than one. Good point. OK, what do we know about our fire? Breakfast finished at 8.57am. Everyone was present. The fire alarm went off at 10.31am. So we need to know where everyone was between 9 and half 10? 8.57 10.31am. Yeah. OK. Let's go. I was with tea. Yeah, all morning. Then we found Lily. I was probably in my bedroom. Who wants to know? Who? Me? I was with Frank. Yeah. What were you doing? We were just talking. About what? Nothing. Uh, I was in my room. Yes, by myself, the way I like it. Is that illegal or something? We were in the attic, then we were in the garden. Anyway, as I was saying, I came out when I smelled smoke. Then the fire alarm went off. It wasn't my fault. What's your problem? Why am I always suspect number one? You're not. You're asking everyone. He was here, with me, the whole time. See? So Rick was with Tyler the whole time. Carmen was with T and Lily, and the Sam was with Frank. So they say. Tyler had a secret box of fireworks and a lighter. He could be a pyromaniac. A pyromaniac is someone who likes to start fires for fun. I knew that. Then Electra took the lighter, and she was alone, so she had no witnesses to corroborate her alibi. Yeah, but she set off the alarm. She wouldn't have started the fire. She might have done. It's called hero syndrome. People with hero syndrome like attention, so they cause an accident on purpose and pretend to help. Come in. How's the investigation going? Take a look. Does Anne reckon she was with Frank? Frank confirmed it. Right. Do you know something? Even if I did, I wouldn't grass. If you know something, you better tell us now. Well... I don't. And so... She's just been in and out of hospital a lot since I was little. Zan, can I borrow your phone? I need to make an urgent call. So now you want a favour from me? OK, Frank, can I use the credit that you paid for? Me, don't make me take things. I won't. Just take it. What are you doing? I thought your mum was getting out of hospital. She is. Then why haven't you called her? 
Why have you made loads of calls to someone called Romeo? Me brother, he's picking her up. Of course he is. You really want to know? Me mum is getting out of hospital. A psychiatric ward. She's been sectioned. Again. Why didn't you say that before? Being a care kid's bad enough. I don't want to be the care kid with a mental mum. You buying any of this? Leave the one. Frank. It's hurt right, you. Yeah. So now you know the truth. Do you still like me? Lizanne could be lying, but so could Tyler and Rick. Or anyone, we've got no proof of anything. We need to conduct a forensic investigation. Which means we need to get into the attic. I bet they don't have this trouble on CSI. Yeah, I was gonna do that. You keep look out. No. Oh, I could do with some new straighteners. You, um, where you get them? I can't afford it. All my allowance goes towards helping me mum. Really? Most of it. OK, some of it. I just really need new straighteners. <sighs> yeah. No, it's dreams. Are they looking at us? They're looking at you. Good. What do you guys do for fun around here? How about I buy you then? Shut up. Look, I'm just saying. You, you, you can go to that. You go out to that to me. You really don't trust me, do you? No. Why do you hang around with me then? Because I like you. I like you too. Thanks. <laughs> Patches of all my old clothes that got burned in the fire. All my memories. Thanks, Kitty. So I'm sorry. I get it. Tracy, look at this. Cigarette bar. Grantham's. Look, there's more. Someone's been using this place as a secret smoking spot. Who's up there? Goss, it's okay, you don't panic. It's all right. Goss! Goss, are you all right? Goss, what did Trace you do? Tracy! Is he all right? What happened? It's all right, Tracy. <laughs> I can forgive your incompetence, Stacey. Tracy. After all, you're only young, but Gus Carmichael could have been killed today. I've been reviewing your record over the past two years, and to be honest, I can't believe you've kept your job this long. That's because Tracy's a good care worker. Well, obviously you think so. 
You've been covering for her from day one. Look, all we were trying to do... I'm not interested in your excuses. Mike. Out! We're busy! We are investigating. We found the forensic evidence. What's he going on about? These. We found these in the attic. The sack of sawdust was full of them. Cigarette butts can smolder for hours. So that's what happened. Harry didn't start the fire at all. There was a smoker up there. This changes everything. It changes nothing. The issue is that you are a danger to young people. So you don't care who started the fire? Well, of course I do. I'm going to search this place from top to bottom till I find the smoker. But it's no longer you a problem. ID. Keys. Now go and get the rest of your things together. I want you gone within the hour. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Nah, you'll be back. You always are. I don't know. Really messed up this time. Come on, you've done worse than that. Thanks, guys. Glad to know you're all on my side. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going. You'll come back to visit, right? Of course I will. All visits will need to be pre-approved by the head care worker. And your social workers. And do it, Tracy. Oh, I know. <clears throat> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Tracy. Bye. Grantham's full strength. What? Hey! I told you to get out! Rick! Tracy. Rick! What? Yours, I believe. Someone just chucked these out of your window. Grantham's full strength. The attic smoker's choice. What's going on? Nothing. It's OK. Kitty, do you know anything about these? I found them in my room. Someone put them there? Kitty gave them to me and I threw them out. So you admit it? Kitty had cigarettes and you helped to hide them? No, that's not what I said. Shh. Give me those. You're both on sanctions. You don't leave the house until further notice. And I'll be passing these on to the fire investigators. Dennis! Come on, Mike, we'll talk at my office. You, get out. The rest of you, go to your rooms. Dennis! Dennis! Tracy, I need to talk to you. Like I said, I'm not a grass, but she's pushed it too far this time. Who has? Tyler can look after himself. So can I. But framing Kitty, that's just wrong. Who framed Kitty? What are you trying to tell me? The morning of the Burnie Wood fire. I woke up early. Almost like I knew something was going to happen. And Zan was carrying something. Whatever it was, it was on fire. It was none of my business. So I went back to bed. Didn't think any more about it. Until the fire alarm went off. Thanks for telling me. You all really liked her, didn't you? Fancy sneaking out, going into town? Not right now. Come, we'll go diving for burgers. Cheer us up. We've already done that. You did our scam? With her? She's my girlfriend. Oh, and you think she won't dump you when someone better comes along? I never thought you were such a mug. Liam, you can't let Frank get ripped off and hurt. What can I do? Scam her. How? I thought you were supposed to be the expert. Um, Lizanne, can I borrow your new straighteners, please? Get your own. Come on, we're not all as rich as Liam, you know. What do you mean? Liam's not rich. Mm, that's what he makes out. But his uncle's totally minded. He's always buying new stuff for Liam. Gives him cash every month. It's true, he's like a total zillionaire. Right. You all right, girls? Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam. Anyway, we better um, 
See ya. See you later. So how's it going with your new boyfriend? If you mean Frank, he's not my boyfriend. It's not what he said when he called you his girlfriend. Frank's really sweet, but we're not exclusive or anything. Does that mean you're open to other offers? Maybe. Loom! Frank, wait! Zan! What? Where were you when the Bunnywood fire started? I know what it looked like, but you've got to believe me. I did it for you. I don't even like her. I was I just know. trying to show you. What do you mean, you know? Look, I don't need protecting. I know exactly what you like, but I like her. Then you're crazy. Look what she did to Johnny. She stole his money and broke his heart. We don't know if she stole the money. Oh, come on. Who else could it be? She'll mess you up big time, Frank. I can handle it. Really? Look me in the eye and tell me you trust her. Seriously, mate, you can do better. Can I? Oh, don't be a muppet. There's a billion girls out there. Girls who want more than just your wallet. Trust me. I don't know anything about the fire at Burning Wood. Why is everyone always having a go at me? Drop the atlas, Anne. You were seen. Just tell us what happened. It was an accident, OK? The night before the fire, I was straightening my hair. Early the next morning, I woke up and realised I'd left the straighteners on. I chucked them in the garden, and by the time I got back, the fire had spread. Lizanne? Lizanne? Dennis, this isn't over. Phone call for you in the office. It's the hospital. Great, the Zan must have told him I was here. Let me know when he's gone. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry about, you know. You're a good guy. You deserve better than me. So why did you catch him? They scammed me. They told me he was rich. So, I was good. Yes. Tell me one thing. What? Did you take Johnny's money? No. Right. We could move to Tuesday. No, because look what's happening. Stop it. Tracy, you're not supposed to be here. Never mind that. Look, watch this. I felt pressured. I had the odd cigarette. Ooh. Uh, I think you did a bit more than that. You were on overnight duty. Why do you think I've been doing overnights all week? And it was raining last night. What do you expect? It's been raining all night. You couldn't be bothered to go outside. So, you decided to go up to the attic instead. You knew you were safe, because you'd taken the batteries out of the fire alarm. You'd smoked there before. You put the cigarette end in the sawdust. But you hadn't put it out properly. By the morning. 
It was too late. While everyone was blaming Harry, you thought you were safe. But then we found the cigarette butts. So, we had to pin the blame on someone else. Kitty seemed like a soft target. You framed her. She found the cigarettes before you could pretend to find them. Ow! OK, look, I know the fire was an accident and one lie led to another, but Kitty's vulnerable. How could you do that to her? Do what? You've got no evidence whatsoever. Mm. We'll let the police decide that, yeah? <laughs> or you could uh, take a seat and write your letter of resignation. <laughs> So, what's it going to be? Nice to meet you. Good luck, OK? Take good care of your mum. And behave yourself. Bye. No, I was just trying to look out for a mate. I don't know. Look, look, I found it. It was in my room. And it's all there. Do you know something about this? How many it killed me? Stacy, Tracy, sorry. What? Uh, do you know if my... Would he tell anybody about what we discussed? No. Mike won't say a word. He's a decent bloke. Right. You know, Kitty really does need specialist care. But there's no money. An incident like this might actually have helped her get it. You just keep telling yourself that. I was like you once. <laughs>